Some people lose their faith because heaven shows them too little. But how many people lose their faith because heaven shows them too much? Years later, of all the gospels I learned in seminary school, a verse from St. Paul stays with me. It is perhaps the strangest passage in the Bible in which he writes, even now in heaven there were angels carrying savage weapons. And in those days, there were giants in the land. And the sons of the angels of God looked upon the daughters of men and found them fair, and took of them wives, and their sons became of old great men of renown. So they have been mixing with us on a genetic level since the time of Enoch and Ezekiel's will. Here on earth we're intrigued by the sun, moon, and stars And imagine there's got to be planets like ours Some conceive of a face on the surface of Mars So in need of a meaning and purpose we lost That indeed they believe that these might be our gods Or that maybe with time we'll do right and evolve And eventually reach what they seek And then solve all the problems of man But they really don't know that they fall And the works of our hands all but just filthy rags So we travel the lands to dig up our past Time elapses and with it are much of the facts Some imagine that gods came in alien crafts They react in this way They're so desperate for meaning and purpose But satanic servants They know this They have evil motives Am I making you nervous? Ha, I'm just scratching the surface This lies from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning The message is clear Heed the warning the time draws near, see the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls and the breaking of seals Heed the warning, the message is clear, heed the warning The time draws near, in the blink of an eye All believers will be raptured, anyone left receives a mark Or the caption, this leader will arise Claim his origins are alien, possessed by Satan On the side of the Nephilim, profess those who left us back from evolving and now that they're gone we'll solve all of our problems the worship of anyone god will be halted when evolving to gods and ourselves be exalted we'll play on these lies and in time they'll devise and arrive at a plan that will help hypnotize all the ones left behind the spiritually blind he's stolen their souls now he's stealing their minds it's already started we're seeing the signs just study the word prophecies all aligned they'll chop off the heads of all those who fight at one earth Earth, one world, aren't you excited? See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning, the message is clear Heed the warning, the time draws near See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning, the message is clear Heed the warning, the time draws near Where will you be? the year 2012 are they casting a spell they're not ready to tell it's time to reveal what they tried to keep veiled pure evil they hail and they sell it so well he fell from the heavenly realms where he dwelled a once beautiful angel that tried to rebel expelled from the light into darkness and hell now a serpent and snake with reptilian scales he wears a disguise with angelic wings and mimics the truth with a lie so obscene he always repeats the same thing he told Eve that You'll be supreme, a king or a queen That you can evolve to an enlightened being A god of your own that can do anything He feeds on our souls with this fraudulent scheme In so many ways, but it's all just the same See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning, the message is clear Heed the warning the time draws near, see the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls and the breaking of seals See the warning, the message is clear, hear the warning The time draws near Why hide yourself with, you know, creating UFO crafts and things like that? Why that deception if that's indeed what's going on? The, the creatures figured out that there was one way that they could frighten mankind and that is to present themselves as technologically superior beings from physical UFOs. Why would they want to abduct human beings? UFO abduction might not be caused by physical occupants, but from creatures living in perhaps what we would call another dimension. Mm -hmm. Posing as occupants. Yes, the 
same type of interfering, harassing, uh, paraphysical creature in every culture worldwide.